Oh, and you're back to hear my beautiful voice. Don't deny it, that's the reason you can watch these videos. Buy me dinner first, you silly goose. Hello, I'm Awfulstick, and welcome back to The Waystone, Season 3, Episode 35, and it seems like I'm always ending back up in the nether off camera to do projects. But look at that tunnel. Doesn't that look fancy? Yeah, I've been doing this off camera. Got all of the ceiling in place, and I've got one wall complete. But then the left hand side needs to continue on. Unfortunately, it's only about a quarter of a way through the tunnel. And then we've got to continue that. Uh, it's going to be a lot of resources. If I remember correctly, it takes like four inventories full of stone brick to do one wall. And that's just ridiculous to me. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of nether tunnels, but I will do them just to make things look nice. And this is just the foundation of things. I'm going to be doing columns, going to be doing other things. And that's what's going to be bringing me to today's project, which I want to work on the Guardian Farm at Thunder Gaming's base. Because we need to get that optimal speed. We need to get some efficiency going with some sea lanterns. Because glowstone just doesn't look that great when you're using it as a deck where I like a nice clean block with all the stone brick. And glowstone just looks ugly. <laughs> <laughs> cannot hide it. It just looks really ugly. So I'm going to rest for tonight, hop back on tomorrow, head over to Thunder Gaming's base and see what we can get done. Actually, let's go survey it real quick. I just want to see how much stuff we've got to do to get it in the right place. I just landed and I'm getting pelted by mobs. I forgot I don't have knockback two on the sword. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to have to light this area up. I need you to die and not come after me. Could you swim to me a bit more? Or that squid will come and get you, hopefully. This is what we have to work with. We have to remove all of that gravel, all of that stone. I'm not really sure the design he was going for. And I think I'm not going to mess with the design this episode. I just wanted to get it to a nice efficiency. Because this is really an amazing project. And really, this version of the farm is, I think, the most efficient. One of the most efficient designs. Is this the one Mumbo uses? I think it is. I don't watch much Mumbo, but I'm pretty sure I had seen it on his channel at one point I went over there. Wow, okay. So, I was wanting to take a peek into the cave systems to see if those have been lit up or not. I'm, hmm, unsure about it, but I'm sure there is some canyons around. I could have sworn I remembered a ravine. Yeah, here it is. So this one has a few bits of lighting in it. But it's not quite there. Hmm. Now, some people may consider this cheating, but I'm going to bring my camera account over here. That way we can light up all the caves in the vicinity, and it can go by as smoothly. We'll do a time lapse, getting it all filled in with torches. And, of course, this bit, too. Hmm. I think I'll do this one off camera, and then we'll do the cave system for the camera account. From an outward perspective, I didn't expect this to be such a tedious project. I mean, there was quite a bit to clear that I couldn't see from the surface. And let me go ahead and jump up here. It looks like my inventory's full anyways, so I gotta put all that stuff up. This is how far we've come. I mean, we've dug all the way from the top of the gray area on the walls, and there's the sea lanterns that were on the floor before. <laughs> so, we've come a long ways. I've uh, been running into a lot of mobs. I died once from flying in the nether because I had to go pick up my extra tools box. I ran out of durability on my pick. I don't even know where I put it. Did I put it in one of these chests? No, I put it back in my extra tool shulker box, which is thankfully in there. Uh, look at all these resources, though. I mean, we have an incredible amount of gravel. Lots of gravel that we can use for concrete powder. And cobblestone out of the gazoo too, which will only fill this one up. Now, this is a cool system that I've been using recently, just kind of organizing things a bit more. I mean, it's just much more clean. <laughs> I think I'm going to start using this organization system. Ooh, even iron. I mean, I'm not going to use it, but someone else might. I think we're good. I mean, that's rather fast. So I'm going to clear out the rest of this very minuscule, and that corner is going to be kind of tough, but very close to having this all topped off. Having an extra tool shulker box is great and all, but I have to repair a lot of pickaxes. All of my efficiency fives are pretty much used up, and I've got a couple of efficiency fours, but those just aren't going to do it for me. I think I got one more efficiency five that has been used, and this one is halfway at least. 
So I'm just going to sit around and prepare these because I am wanting my silk touch back. I prefer to carry a silk touch pick. It's funny, until you need cobblestone. Earlier in the episode, I said I wasn't going to be decorating this monument, but it seems I'm placing down dark oak slabs. Some unseeable force is making me do this. But the real thing is I have much more time this weekend, and I'm killing time by placing slabs. I'm placing down dark oak slabs to complement that prismarine because it works so well in season two. And if you hadn't noticed, we had shaped up the columns. I guess an unseeable force done that for me too. <laughs> Uh, the sandstone pieces was Kane's idea, so thank you Kane's. I was in chat with him and he was like, yeah, try some sandstone. And it looks cool. I really love this design. But I haven't really seen this from above, and I don't know how that's going to conflict from the sky. Oh, I'm a little bit scared, honestly. Well, it doesn't look terrible. I think once we get it all in, you cannot really see the wood texture. So, it looks a bit bland. But once you get down here, you start seeing the lines in the wood. It looks much better. All right, well, I'll just fill the rest of this in. I've got a whole inventory filled with dark oak slabs with some more logs. We should be a smooth selling. Blasted rain. Oh, make me stop, seriously. I think I'm going insane. <laughs> I just keep coming back to the Guardian farm and tinkering, getting it done. And I've really appreciated this project. You know, I could have done a whole episode on the decoration portion of things. But I just really appreciated it on my own accord. I mean, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, this design is more technical. And we've gotten all of the slabs in with some additional decorations. Now, I'm going to be asking Buildmonger to fill in a pattern for me on one of these corners so that we could just continue around. Which I think we'll have to go submit a request at the Buildmonger shop. So we'll see what we can get done with there. But yeah, I mean, look at this. It looks like a circuit board. And I've been wanting to take a screenshot to show you the difference. We'll just do like a little transition over, just see how much we've done. Wow, I mean, just looking at it first though. Oh yes, that came out looking nice. And most of the glass on top is functional. I've come across some sea lanterns, which is always a plus. And I traded out with some of that prismarine with spruce wood, because it just seems to fit more with the oak. Oh wow, okay. Lightning Bolt just went in there. Glad I wasn't working on the farm. I really should sleep. I've got a bed on me, don't I? Yeah. I should really sleep because I don't want to get struck by lightning being on the edge of the ocean like this. So, when it, I'm just going to leave that there because I might die. All right. And I don't know if I'm just trying to prolong the inevitable or if I'm trying to tinker with this even more. I've got to get the caves all sorted out. But first, let's look at the screenshot. So we see all of this gray in the area. It's really messy. It's transitioning over to my design. Oh, look at that transition. Put a lot of work into this. I think it looks really nice. Lots of cool looking color to it. All right, so let's go ahead and get done with this caving and try to have a functional guardian farm afterwards. And at the end of things, I decided to toss my time lapse. It just didn't look good. I brought my second account in and tried to film it and just look crummy. The caves were small, I was small. I should have used replay mod, but shame on me. So we're gonna be doing something for the second half of the episode. But for now, let's go ahead and test some of this efficiency. I've been here for about 10 minutes and I have what's in my inventory and what's in the chest. Now I'm gonna be doing a 30 minute session and I just want to see what kind of stuff we do get. So I'm just going to bring this over to my inventory so we'll have space. And not worried about the fish. We're just worried about the shards and prismarine crystals. So 30 minutes. Let's see what the efficiency looks like. I said 30 minutes, but it's been two and a half hours. I had to make a PC repair run and go to the grocery and forgot I was AFK on the server. But this is the resources that we have gathered from that two hours and a half. Plenty of shards, plenty of crystals. So we're going to have plenty of sea lanterns and bricks. It's all ready to go. That's at optimal efficiency. The only thing that isn't optimal is the storage. I've noticed there is no more chests down here connected to hoppers. And I think Thunder Gaming was going to do something with this little area, but got burned out on the project, moved to something else, and just never got around to it, which I totally understand because this Guardian farm, if I ever have to do one clearing out, you know, maximum efficiency, having all the water cleared out in a certain diameter, ah, uh, that's tough. <laughs> that would take a lot of time. So let's go ahead and put this back in place. And now let's work on that storage system. I think I'm just going to make a room down here because 
ah, it just seems like a hassle to transport it up top. And then you just want to count and see how much you've got so you can just move into this area. So let's hook this up to an item elevator and see where we can get. And I think I will be performing a time lapse on the redstone. But for now, let's go ahead and dig out that room. Ladies and gentlemen, we have officially completed the Guardian Farm renovation project, and I'm so glad it's behind me, quite literally. And something looks rather fishy about me. Yeah, sorry. I had to pull off those obvious cheesy jokes, but yes, let's try to land on the side of this Guardian Farm to look at the differences compared to when Thunder Gaming had it. So something I didn't point out earlier, I had completed the sand wall. There was gravel bits, there was stone bits, but we exchanged that for smooth sand. Oh, I think it looks good with that lighting. Really cool, especially with the sea lanterns on the side. Just gives it a neat pattern. And you can actually see guardians spawning inside the farm now. And it is most satisfying to watch those guardians go into that lava pit, and you can get shards, crystals, fish, anything you desire. You just know it's going into the storage system. Very nifty. And then we have the geometry up top with the columns, circular, something different, and the pattern on the floor, very functional, very simple, straightforward. I didn't want to go too crazy with this project because I wanted to keep remnants of Thunder Gaming's designs in the two. And something I didn't show you in the time lapse, we added this window. It's like the little killing chamber where they come in, I think, from the lava. It's just right above this. They fall onto this pad and then they eventually make it onto this gap. And of course, you have your Guardian XP grinder. And if you don't want to grind, Max Entity Cramming will collect items for you and they'll come into this storage system, which stretches all the way around. You may have seen the time lapse to this set of chests. It is done. Oh, I think the only thing left is to do another portal around here somewhere, but I'm not going to be the one to do that, I don't believe. If anyone wants to chip in on this design on the Waystone, feel free. I just wanted something functional, simple, and works efficiently. So let's go over to spawn and see if there's anything new in the shops because I haven't been over there all week. It is absolutely dreadful going around spawn without rockets. I depend on them way too much. Nothing in the post office box decided to go in reverse today. And if I do remember a couple of days ago, I believe Dave had said that there was some diamonds in this hand sand it needed to be restocked so i'm going to check that out real quick and then we'll head over to the iron shop we've been having a lot of fun with streams recently and for easter we have something planned for streaming hope it goes smoothly and i'm going to check the poll about when it's going to be done i don't know if it's going to be a stream or if it's going to be a video but i have a feeling it's going to be a stream Ooh, one diamond and then we oz Ooh, yeah Nine diamonds from the sand sand. You don't see that. That's rare. Very rare occurrence. But yeah, I'm hoping that we get to stream that Sunday on Easter. I think everyone might be busy. Uh, you know, as far as the audience goes, hopefully you guys are able to stop by. If not, you can watch it over again or you can kind of skip that and more of an optional thing. Oh, it's going to be great. You know, I get to spend Easter with the Waystoners because I don't really have anyone else to spend Easter with. Uh, yes. Ooh. Yes, 36 diamonds in today's gallivanting. That is awesome. We still got iron in here? No. Are we already running low on iron? Seriously? Oh, wait. Oh, I guess it just hasn't loaded up because the chunk was unloaded. Let's see here. Just got to make sure. 
Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'll just stay around here and let that fill up for a minute. Uh, we should replace our door. Need to do a piston door there. Okay, well, spawn has been cleared out. Let's go ahead over to the Interman farm, and I believe we'll go ahead and call it an episode. We got a lot done today, seriously. I'm not going to deny it. I have an unhealthy obsession for the Interman farm. Everything in my inventory has been completely mended, and I'm ready for the next episode. But before we do go, I was wanting to say a huge, huge thank you to all of you. Thank you so much for being a fantastic audience and being there. It truly makes it worth it. You know, coming on to the channel and seeing all the comments and seeing all of the cool replies and just getting to talk to you guys. I don't say that very often. I just wanted to make sure you knew. But I think that's going to be about it for today's episode, guys. Hope you enjoy watching. We'll see you next episode. You guys have a fantastic day.